I'd like to talk to you about extinctions that have happened on Earth in the past. There have been five of them. Uh, it's been said by many people that we're in the sixth great extinction, and we'll talk about that in a bit. But let's turn our minds to the past for the moment. The largest extinction we've ever had here on Earth was called the Permian Mass Extinction. So let's talk about it for a little bit. The Permian Mass Extinction happened 250 million years ago. This was before the dinosaurs uh, existed. This was before any of that. It was fairly early on in life uh, on Earth. It was known as the Great dying, and it was the closest we've ever come to extinguishing all complex life on Earth. Pretty much everything died. Uh, it says here 90% of the species died out. I just watched another uh, film the other night about the Permian mass extinction, and they said actually 95% of all the species on Earth died out. It was a huge event, and it was a worse toll even than the Cretaceous extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This was the big one. How did it happen? It was, it was caused by global warming. Um, there was extreme global warming when carbon dioxide was released. This is how that carbon dioxide got released. Also, with the Permian mass extinction, there was a large meteor about the size of Manhattan. It skimmed along the Earth near Siberia and opened up, it kind of lanced open the mantle, and a huge uh, rift, I, I'm not exactly sure how long it was, but it became volcanic, and there were volcanic emissions in this long rift. It was called the Siberian Traps. And it just is exactly what you would think, you know, endless volcanoes emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere for a long, long time. Now, there was methane hydrate at this time as well, and there was methane hydrate frozen in our Paleo-Arctic. And as the carbon dioxide uh, began to heat the atmosphere, it jump-started the methane monster back in the Permian times. And this caused the methane hydrate to come into the atmosphere. So when the methane came into the atmosphere, it came out pretty severely. In fact, the entire methane system came out, and the methane plugs at the bottom of the Arctic Ocean broke, and they were actually sealing off a substance called mantle methane, which is formed by a geologic process, and it's formed very, very deep into the Earth at very high degrees. I think uh, 300 kilometers down and at 12,000 degrees. But in any case, it does exist. I've just found out about it uh, this year myself. People are just still finding out about this substance. It doesn't really ever hurt us, except when it comes out. It hasn't come out. When all of this happened in the Permian times, the average temperature on Earth rose to about 26 degrees Celsius, and that's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That might not sound like much. It was. That's an average temperature. There was a complete and utter deglaciation, and this produced the Permian mass extinction. So the hard news for us to kind of take on board today is this. If our methane monster is unleashed, and it does appear that it's starting to become unleashed, this will lead to complete deglaciation of all the um, ice caps and of Greenland of, and of Antarctica eventually. And it will ultimately, um, it's such a severe imbalance right now, you know, the way we've pushed it so, so hard that it will, we think, lead to the extinction of life on Earth. This is a very, very hard fact to take on board. It's impossible to get your conscious mind around it. However, just try and take it on board intellectually and, and start to work with it. It takes years.